Hello everyone, back in today's video, looking at weather next week to 10 days. In today's video, this will take us to around the 18th or the 19th of uh, October. So we're going to the second half of the month just about with this um, update. Got a reasonable amount of uh, set weather to come to the south over the next few days. It's actually going to turn quite warm at the weekend. Uh, but next week we may see a definitive change towards something uh, more unsettled again. I'll check for everything that's going on. Uh, right now, so start off with the 500 bit of our high normally flow charts from the Penn State University website. We've got the ECNDF here on the top of the GFS, which I'll look at in a moment, is on the bottom. 500 bit of our tank feet is an area where high pressure, low pressure being moved around by the jet stream. And this is essentially what weather is, a movement of the air masses uh, by the jet stream. So the ECNDF is placing quite a deep area of uh, low pressure below average heights out into the Atlantic. We have got a ridge across um, central parts of Europe. That's left over from the ridge that's going to bring us quite a bit of warm uh, air at the weekend. But that ridge is being flattened off by the jet stream, quite a strong jet stream indicated by the black lines coming across the Atlantic with that trough of uh, low pressure. So essentially this is turning more unsettled as we get to a 7 to 10 day time frame. And uh, the uh, GFS is in agreement with this. So makes more of a ridge uh, to the south, and it's also to the uh, southeast as well. But then we've got this very deep trough of low pressure in the Atlantic up here out to the northwest of the country. Strong jet stream is coming across the uh, Atlantic like that. So again, we are flattening off this ridge and turning things, I would have thought, increasingly unsettled. So that appears to be the trend that uh, we're facing over the next week to uh, 10 days. Uh, these are the GFS temperature and precipitation ensembles, dealing with the upper air temperatures uh, first of all. This is for Hereford today. Somebody's asked me, have a look at the ensembles for Hereford. So we have the red line here, which is the 30 year upper air temperature average at Hereford. And we are in for quite a, a warm week. It's a bit warmer than average at the moment. It's going to get warmer at the end of the week and into the weekend properly above average then. As we go through to next week, it does turn cooler. And then we get through to this extended part of the ensemble. There's a lot of scatter in there. So the overall uh, tr uh, the overall sort of trend of the ensemble is still to be quite a bit warmer than average. But we have got several cooler ensemble members as well. So there's really too much scatter there, I think, for this second half of October to um, really say what exactly is happening once we get uh, sort of around... Uh, eight, nine, ten days uh, away with um, with the upper air temperatures. In terms of precipitation, there will be some rainfall coming up over the next two or three days. Then it will turn drier at the end of the week into the weekend. And then we have an increasingly unsettled looking trend, I think, as we go through into, uh, into next week. These are the air pressure and also uh, surface temperature ensembles, dealing with surface temperatures first of all. So we're starting off around here. This is 15 degrees Celsius just here. This is 10 degrees Celsius. So we're starting off at, or by the weekend, going above uh, 15 degrees Celsius. There's a warming trend that's going through into the weekend. Getting very close at Hereford to around 20 degrees uh, by the weekend. But then you see into next week we have got quite a clear cooling trend going under uh, 15 degrees then. So the model definitely wants to cool things off as we get through into uh, next week. In terms of the air pressure, so starting off at around around 1,020 millibars, some lowish pressure coming through uh, towards the end of a week, although it's not desperately low, we're going down to around 1,010, and then lifting things up actually as we go through the weekend and into the start of uh, next week, maybe signs of a decline in pressure uh, later on next week, although a lot of scatter again in there, reflective of what we saw with the temperature part of the ensemble, so it is a lot of scatter between uh, it's high pressure on some members and some very low pressure on some members. So again, I think this second half of uh, October does contain quite a lot of uncertainty. A very warm week coming up, not just the UK, but many parts of Europe. These are the temperature anomalies from the 9th to the 17th of October. And they are coming out widely above average, really, really pretty much sure. All parts of uh, Europe, maybe um, Turkey might be a little bit cooler than average, but essentially it does look significantly warmer than average for uh, pretty much all parts of Europe in the week ahead. And in terms of precipitation, so much of southern and western, southwestern Europe coming out uh, drier than average from the night 17th of October, a little bit wetter up in the north and the northeast of uh, Europe. 
Just have a look at the GFS then. Let me see how things are looking for Friday. We've got high pressure to the south, low pressure to the northwest, pulling up this uh, warm southwesterly uh, wing. We go through to the weekend, and yes, we're still pumping up those uh, southerly wings into the south. So I think temperatures could easily reach 20 or 21 degrees in some southern and southeast parts of the country on Saturday, about 70 Fahrenheit, maybe even going a little bit warmer than that. There's the upper air temperatures showing how the UK is bathed on Saturday in those uh, warm temperatures. But on Sunday, low pressure starts to move in from the Atlantic. This could be quite an active low pressure. It might bring quite a lot of heavy rain through the course of Sunday. By the time you get through to Monday, that's gone. Still have an influence from high pressure down to the south, but we're completely changing the air mass now, turning much cooler. So when uh, you see the upper air temperatures have really dropped a lot by the time you get through to the start of uh, next week. And then through next week, I think we see things turning increasingly unsettled. That high pressure does have another go at trying to get itself going on Tuesday, but lots of low pressure in the Atlantic, and that low pressure pushes through during the week, turning more and more unsettled as we go through to the second half of uh, next week. We've just gone beyond day 10 and it is looking properly uh, unsettled there with a real Atlantic flow uh, coming in. This is the uh, East Central Air finally. So again, we've got high pressure to the south, low pressure out to the northwest on Friday. It will be warm on Friday and into the weekend, potentially very warm for the time of year. But we start to see that as we go through the weekend into next week, we get increasingly uh, unsettled from the Atlantic weather systems pushing in, bringing A, quite a lot of rain through the course of next week, and B, cooler and fresher air uh, as well. That's how we finish up on day 10, Thursday the 19th of October, and we're firmly into an unsettled scenario then even starting to uh, raise heights a little bit up to uh, the north perhaps so um not only is it turning much more unsettled through the course next week uh, it could be turning a lot cooler as well as we head into the final sort of uh, week to 10 days of october that's rather speculative but i think what we can say uh, fair, with fairly good confidence, is that it's going to be some showery rain through the early part of this week. From Thursday onwards, a lot of dry weather to the south. That continues into Friday and into the weekend. will become very warm for a time in the south. A time of year, temperatures going into the low 20s Celsius. So a little bit of an Indian summer coming along. Sunday into Monday probably has a change with some heavy rain and then a much cooler air mass coming in. And then after that, I think the trains are to turn things increasingly unsettled through the course of uh, next week with perhaps a, a proper descent into autumn. Now, this is quite a way off, so there is uncertainty. It may not turn as unsettled as uh, these models are indicating today. It, they might backtrack on it, but that's certainly the direction that they're uh, going in today, uh, looking increasingly autumnal next week. Right, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.